my god oh my god guys hello good evening we're on serious total neck vibes this evening it's not even evening this is 2 a.m this is the only time i have to do things and sort my life out but anyway guys hello and welcome back again to my youtube channel it is your favorite baby girl with her rapang hair <laughs> It is your favorite baby girl, Mama Daina Ikuweme, in the building, and this is a this is a very different video, a video I've never done on this channel before. It is a get ready with me video. Now I see, I see, I saw, I see Sveka. <laughs> now I see why most people, if you. If my voice is echoing, I'm inside the toilet. Now I see why most people living abroad, they enjoy doing this get ready with me, and especially black, you know, YouTubers and all, because fam, when you don't have time to sit for hours, or you don't even have the money to spend on braids, all you can do is just get wigs here and there, and you know, chit chat away in your videos, which, since chit-chatting lately, having conversations lately, I found that I enjoy talking to you guys. Guys, my hair is really dummy. Don't worry, don't worry, don't, 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 don't worry. Um, I did a video where I was taking off my braids. I just watched it today. I didn't have the time yesterday, to be honest with you. I just watched it today and it's, it's, it's very damaged. I can't even think of braiding or doing anything on this hair until at least there is some sort of restoration because what what in the rat chops is going on here? Not less. <laughs> okay, check my front head saw me inside bottle. <laughs> but yeah, let's let's get started. Like most of you know, I bought a whole lot of wigs before coming to Saudi Arabia. And see, don't don't be looking at my hair. It's part of it. Like my hair used to pack all back. Just focus on the message. Leave the messenger eh? I bought a lot of wigs and yeah, up to 18 wigs inside my box and I haven't touched any. So today I watched, not not today, I found this video a long time ago but I saved it. It's an Instagram, um, you know, I'm just going to follow her. I sincerely haven't done this before ever in my life. So um, this is... <clears throat> This is gonna, I'm already foreseeing disaster happening before the end of this video, but yeah, I'm just going to try, you know, doing exactly what she did with my wig and see what's good. I have all the things that she's using, at least I've improvised some, but I'm going to be showing you most of the things I have here that obviously she used for, you know, just prepping her wig and slaying the thing, doing the damn thing. Look that. Yes, honey, yes, yes, just look at the damsel, look at her, yes, but yeah, I'm going to be showing you guys a couple of things that I'll be using this evening, the ones that don't know their names, Mbok, Biko, tell me in the comment section what their names are, so um, I have this got to be, I don't know if I'm saying it right, but just forgive me, got to be glue, see all these things I bought because I've, I've been watching influencers for a long time, but I know just like makeup with time, it'll get better, so don't be too hard on me tonight, okay, yeah, so I have this here, this, I'm just going to be showing you guys some of the things I have here, I bought them in Nigeria, I have this, I don't even know where to apply some of these things, but let's see, let's see, let's see. I have this oil shin hairspray I'll be using for the wig. I have this Agan oil from Morocco. I'll be using it for the wig as well. Um, I have a few hair clips here. I have my scissors. I got these scissors from my husband. <laughs> yeah, I have my scissors. I have my um styling brush for you know applying edge control and all that i have my wig cap because fam this front end we can just be putting gum on, on it anyhow anyhow you get and i have some equipment here that i don't know the name so if you know the name of this it's like a comb let me show you guys it's like a comb let me just show 
So if you know the name of this comb, share with me in the comment section below. This is the brand I'm using. The brand I'm using and it's new. As you can see, this thing is still on. I haven't I haven't watched any of these things since coming here. I got this thing I saw this lady using now as well. This thing for making the hair to curl. Share with me the name of this digital curling iron. So this one for coiling. <laughs> Then I have this straightener. This one has been like this is my old old one I've been using since you know way back. And I've got me my hair brush and the wig itself. I don't know if I mentioned to you guys. I saw one. I can't even remember the page I got that from. Well, I know this girl stays in Lagos. I ordered like it came as a package. 150 or 180,000 naira package for like it was a good deal. It may not be 100% human hair, but um, it looks it looks okay. I can I can work with it. This is how it looks like. This is it. I got like tons of hair for from her. This is the frontal. This is the lace, and yeah. If I'm saying. The wrong vocabulary please like i said do not come for me just innocently correct me down there but yeah let me put on my recap and let's talk we have a lot to talk about this night actually so guys this is me with my wig cap i forgot to show you guys my hair dryer this is a very old one i bought it second hand in my home market for tacos but yeah it's been working like perfect i got it for like was it three thousand naira or there about three or four k i can't remember but it was hella cheap, hella, hella cheap. So, um, I don't know if I should use this one or this or the both. I just, like, I'm just not sure. But since I already know about got to be you, let me, let me just use this one. But yeah, today we're going to be talking about friendships. We're going to be discussing a whole lot. And please, I don't want children here. I want people who are open-minded, who can critically think. I believe that a lot of dynamites are, you know, why will you follow me if you don't share with some of the things that, you know, I align with some of the some of the ways I reason. The, the core dynamite fans, I know, I know. But yeah, um, how do we start this? I'm just scared. I won't lie to you guys. I'm kind of scared, but yeah, friendships, friendships. Chineke, this is serious gum. Look, this is serious gum. I don't want to put anything now. If I remove it, my whole skin will work out. <laughs> but yeah, let's talk more. Let's chat more before we actually start. There was um, there was something I saw on Insta blog Niger. Um, these days, going online is a luxury. Like I remember in Nigeria, like I used to sleep on insta blog niger like i used to be updated these days <laughs> the ones that come up on my feed those are the ones that like, i'm i'm just i'm lost and it's okay this is the face to get lost in those things but yeah i saw one gist not that i read you know in detail what the gist was about but it was practically most of you who watch insta blog niger or who are followers of Insta blog Niger, we will know the story that I'm talking about, about a lady and her best friend, and you know how she invited her to literally all her events, all her personal, very you know intimate events, baby shower, just everything, everything, and this girl ended up taking her man. See, I hate delving into relationship matters, be it friendship, be it marriage. I hate choking my mouth or even giving unsolicited opinions whatsoever because um, things can get complicated. Things can be complicated between two adults and you may not know what the root cause is, why what happened happened. But... Um, on a general level, I'm not picking sides here, on a general level, for me, for me, as a friend, anything concerning somebody 
that you call friend not just an acquaintance not just a colleague not just a passerby not just you know anybody but someone that you know regarded you enough regarded you close enough to invite you to intimate things girl code should somewhere have it that you have no business with that person's man in form of future in form of ex in form of anything I know it's 2023 and some people may come at me with all this woke bullshit but at the same time it's it's just wrong it is like how like how do you even feel as a woman like your best friend your close friend let me not go to best friend but your close friend or even your even your friend someone that was once in your circle you find it comfortable comfortable or you find it i don't know if there is a high that comes with an achievement that I've, yes i've taken your man yes you think you can be sharing you know how sweet and glamorous and you know rosy it was to me sharing all the things that he got you and the things that you guys shared you think you can invite me for parties and all that i finally have your man i don't know what some women you know how the reason when the i don't want to call the word snatch because I, I can't even be blaming the girl. A man who wants to be taken would be taken. Um, we can't all lay fingers or point fingers at that girl. The man has, I, I'm just focusing on friendship and girl code and all that. If it comes to this, let's not even lay the whole blame on the girl or the friend in question. If the man couldn't keep his thing in one place, then it's the man's fault. It's the, you had every every right and every situation to say no to say because i respect my wife your friend i'm i'm not interested but you you swinging the columnus you swinging <laughs> you decided to so um yeah that's where i'm coming from i'm not pointing fingers i'm only talking about friendships that's what we're discussing in this video for those of you who would misinterpret or wrong with something else but yeah um let's just get started that situation i don't know i don't know how we can even salvage such situation how you feel how you sleep every night knowing fully well that Chineke, what is what in the gum is this like guys i'm scared of using this thing i don't know if this thing is or bond or I just don't know. I'm I'm really scared. Let me just use this other one. Because this gum is looking like permanent. Like <laughs> you can't take it off. That's what it's looking like. Let me just use what I I can see here. See how sticky this gum is. Can you see? It's really really sticky. So I'm just scared of the gum. I don't know. Let me try this one and see what's good. I'm not meant to bring this thing a bit forward so it doesn't touch my hair. <laughs> this is a mess. This is a mess. This is a mess. I don't have the spray gum, so this is the only um, alternative I have for now. So let's see how it goes. So I'm just going to use this. I think I see people, you know, just trying to shape this front side before actually putting the wig. Oh, I should have shaped it before even putting the gum. <laughs> I said this is going to be disastrous, but I didn't think. Wait, wait, was I meant to put it even on top? Fam, at this point, I, I just don't know. Let me just pop the wig on. Like at this point, I'm literally, literally confused. Not the gum on this hair. What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? My last video, the video that is supposed to go up before now, but I submitted it for approval. It's a sponsored video. That was the video that I loosened my hair. At some point, the audio was just bad. I just couldn't do. So, uh, if you're wondering why this road mic is kind of lower than normal, 
I just don't want to take clashing with what I'm doing again. Okay, let me just focus on it. Let me just focus on putting this wig right and then I think of. Okay. We're getting somewhere at least. Yeah? Yeah. Definitely getting somewhere. As you can see, the wig isn't so bad. Like, it really isn't so bad. I can work with it, you know. So I'm just going to tighten this wig behind. So, so this is the wig, and yeah. So I'm going to cut it now and still apply gum yeah i can't do it facing this camera so i don't make any mistake yeah so this is the first take i know rubbish 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 guys i took the wig cap off because i feel like it was just highlighting a different color of skin to mine you know, I think those people that use wig caps, they end up using foundation to blend, you know, the wig to the face color. But yeah, I'll just sort this out. So guys, I'm cutting again. <laughs> I just looked at the video. The lady actually put the gum, put the wig, tied it. When she was done with her hair, she took off what she tied and then... I'm doing it the wrong way. I brought video, but I'm not watching it. Imagine. So I'm just going to tie my hair, then later sort the front out. But yeah, like we were saying, it is mad disrespectful that I don't know. I don't even want to call it disrespectful. It is just <coughs> for you to feel like um, you know, getting your friend's man husband whatsoever is a big trophy like yeah he picked me over here yeah and you think that man will not do the same thing to you like you think you wouldn't go off you think karma is not real and even if karma doesn't hit people you think okay <laughs> your conscience even if it was gone like it was gone 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 dead 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 um you would forever keep having something to I don't know how to explain it you always be on the lookout always be on the lookout for you know people close to you even if the people don't even send you you just always be on the lookout for things because you know how you got it but at the same time said girl came out to say oh <laughs> She's not close to her, she's not her friend, she's not this, she's not that. Which I am not here to defend, but at the same time, I actually believe that there are people who are friends with people who don't consider them as friends. Can we, can we let that sit for a while before we continue? Just like every relationship, there are people actually dating themselves. We see horror stories of men and women coming online to say oh i've been with this guy for three years all of a sudden i get a wedding invitation all of a sudden this all of a sudden that <sighs> there are people in friendships and relationships that are just not defined or they feel that they are actually with that person but you're dating yourself or you're just the only one in the friendship all you have is someone who is there for their sake, either there to take, there to sap your energy, there to waste your time. It's, I wish as humans we had this, you know, power. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> I wish as humans we have this supernatural power to know who is, who is for real and who is not. That way we're able to flush out, you know, dead things in our lives but at the same time adulting i feel like there are people and i'm happy that not that i'm happy there are people who have been so lucky with friendships growing up i wasn't the type to you know 
have issues when i mean issues i mean issues where you know this one did this to me this one snatched my boyfriend this one did this this one did that i was always this girl that really never had friendship issues within my family yeah and for those of you who don't know we're two girls can we just start something before it's already late i know we're just two girls my sister and i my elder sister, my immediate elder sister and I and growing up I really used to look at her like why does she why does she allow herself to be used or why does she allow I, I remember growing up my sister always I don't want to say it was her fault but I my sister is the most genuine human being obviously a lot of things have made her to just, just like me guard up but um, my sister used to be this very, you know, open book, very trustworthy, very like, she she makes friends as if there are no evil people in this world growing up. And she used to have loads and loads of friendship issues. There were those that used her, this is hot, Jenny. There were those that used her, I remember growing up from primary school to secondary school, there were friends that would literally, literally, really, truly use my sister. There were friends that were friends with her for, you know, the things that they could gain from her. Obviously, the problem with these things is with you, because of how open you are, or because of how carefree or how, you know, I wouldn't say pure, how innocent you are within, you know, just surrendering yourself to the friendship. You don't see these things. It's like love at first sight. You know, that euphoric stage where you, you're just blinded by, you know, the this person is my friend. I'm here to do, like, putting in your all 100%. You're blinded to the fact that this person can actually hurt you, harm you, do some certain evil. And I watched my sister growing up. Sorry to bring her in this in. I know she's a private person, but I'm not mentioning names. I watched my sister with her, with this set of friends from primary school to secondary school who were just cruel, 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 cruel. One even went as far as, you know, reporting to my dad, you know, that my sister is in Ghana doing this, clubbing, doing that. The game is what I don't know. The game that some of these people, you know, do these things with what they stand to gain is just what I don't know. Maybe there is this form of satisfaction that yes, finally, something evil or something bad has happened to this girl. Yes, she's down now. I, I just I just can't explain it. But I remember watching my sister grow up like that. And I was always this very I was because of my sister's experiences. I had it. I can't say because of my experience. I feel like that's just me. I'm not the type to keep a crowd. Contrary to what many people think, I don't have a lot of friends. I do not keep a lot of friends. I can't believe that in 2023, a lot of people do not even know how to differentiate between you know friends, acquaintance, colleague, people you just meet, people you socialize with. Like this girl said inviting her to baby showers or whatsoever she doesn't consider her as friend and that's really okay there are some certain things that i don't even classify as intimate people have what they keep private people have what they consider as personal for me someone coming to my baby shower i don't mean someone but then someone i randomly know or someone that i know to some degree coming to my baby shower doesn't mean anything to me even if my very close friend or my best friend or my mom doesn't show up to my baby shower i wouldn't care because those are not the things that interest me on a deeper level but but if something happened to me and i shared it with somebody and i shared an intimate you know hurt success whatsoever with someone and your reaction someone I, with someone I consider friend and your reaction is kind of stale, is kind of, you know, just off putting, you know, that I would have an issue with that. 
I would be like, what's what's up? There are certain things that we, you know, as human beings, as women especially, we consider as the things that we prioritize in friendships. And someone coming, like I said, growing up, I was a tomboy. All these things that we do now, make up, dressing up, slaying, whatever, whatever, whatever. This is me just embracing femininity. <laughs> That's, let's just be truthful. Sincerely, this is me embracing femininity. Not, you know, these are not the things that if I don't do, I'm gonna die. Or if someone doesn't do it for me. Or if someone comes... Or if someone doesn't come for that thing, I would, nah. There are, there are things I define in friendship and it's the ability. Because someone like me, I really, I really do not. Let me, let me be honest with you. I have issues trusting people. I put my guard up always, be it in social environments, work environment. As much as I'm out there, I'm outgoing, I try as much as I can to be open-minded. At the same time, I try to be so careful because the world now, my dear sisters and brothers, is, is, is something else. Is something else. I've experienced friendship on a deeper level, you know, where the person went as far to wish my marriage the worst, to wish the worst on me, to wish the worst on whatever I find very, you know, important publicly, not just privately, not just gossiping about it, publicly. And, you know, I've had friends, just like what happened to this girl back in secondary school. I've had so-called friends take my back. <laughs> I wouldn't say take my man, but then my man allowed himself to be taken at the time. My ex. Um, I've been in that situation, so I know how that shit hurts. But obviously this one, it can't compare. There's a baby involved, the whole family memories and all that. Um, yeah, I've never been this side right from secondary school. You will know my clique. If you went to top face, you know my clique. I talk to everybody, I socialize, so I try not to, you know, just feel left out. But at the same time, I know the people I share, I don't even know how this thing works. How does it work? So, I don't even know how this thing works, but let me see. Okay, I think I'm getting a hang of it. So this is it. At the same time, um, I have my tribe. I have my people who I share deep personal things with. And when I talk about deep, I mean family. I mean, you know, goals. I mean, you know, things I wish to attain. Um, sometimes gossips, because we girls, we like to gossip. Um, yeah, growing up, I wouldn't really classify myself, even until date, even until date, YouTube makes it look like I'm this extroverted human being. I'm truly not an extrovert. My sister, I would call her 100% extrovert. I'm someone that even after a whole long day of socializing, I need one week to recover from that socializing. I need a whole week of staying indoors to rejuvenate, <laughs> to think about all that I went out to pour out from myself and then come out again. That's my kind of person. I've always been a homebody, an indoor girl. I'm just not that, you know, yeah. Everybody is my friend. Everybody is, you know, I'm sharing everything with everybody. I'm just, that's not my nature. But yeah, like I was saying, in 2023, we should learn. Contrary to what people think, I, I don't have a lot of friends. So the people that people classify as friends to me are either acquaintances or colleagues. I just, I don't. If you go to those persons you call, okay, 
these are my friends ask them about my family ask them about my dad ask them about my mom they wouldn't tell you they wouldn't they'll be like i don't know i just talked to her based off of this or that or this or that um adult friendships are so complicated that i made this decision so i don't know if, I, if this thing should be long like this so just so um, um, Hey. You see, I said this thing is going to be a disaster. I left this thing for way too long, like way too long, way too too long. But anyway, um, like I was saying, adult friendships can be so so complicated. I remember growing up, people, you know, just calling me old soul for some weird reason. <laughs> And with time, I found that I, I don't know if it was due to past experiences or whatnot. I found that after secondary school, I found it easier to befriend people way older than me because I just hate drama. I'm just not cut out for any sort of drama in my life. Um, I'm just not the drama type. I've never been. I mean, like, anybody, anybody that has known me from the past will vouch. If you don't come for me, I don't, I don't have any business starting drama with you. Like, I just don't even have the energy. That's just the kind of person I am. So I found that, or I thought that, you know, after secondary school in uni, most of you who went to University of Brighton know my two friends, the two people that I considered friends, like, the two people I consider, like every lecture, I always sat with them. He was a man, he was Polish, um, he had a wife and three children at the time, three babies at the time, and a South African lady had teenagers, you know, these were older, way, like, they could easily be my parents, you know, older people. I enjoyed their company, no drama, no nothing. So. I always, you know, just had a thing with people who were older than me just for the sake of, you know, thinking that most of them or for the most part, the older you get, the less drama you would want in your life. The, you know, just the conversation will be different. A lot of things will be different. I'm not, yes, I would have people who I would chit chat with, gossip with, do the most with, like they were you know, close to me, but I never, never, ever, ever, you can count how many of them that will tell you, I know this about Dinah's dad, I know this about her mom, I know this about her family, I know this about her, I feel, I just know her as this and that, as a reading partner or uni or whatsoever, that's it. I find it difficult just being that person opening up to a whole lot of friends. And so I can understand that this girl that did what she did, didn't consider the lady in question her friend and it, this is not a justification for the rubbish that she did but at the same time learn to define friendships learn to know where you stand with someone and the more i grow up the less tolerance i have you know for especially people that I expect to act better, people that I expect that this <coughs> fam, I thought you would have passed this stage you get, I, I, I thought, I, I, I mean, I thought, <laughs> I thought this was beyond you, you should have done better, you should have acted better and yes, it can be a problem to some people this is 2023 as well. Let's normalize not telling people, you know, how to walk away, how to react to certain things, especially, especially when it pertains to their peace, when it pertains to how it could disrupt them mentally. And yeah, this is 2023. And I feel like most of us still don't, you know, recognize when someone is for us and when someone is against us. I feel like one thing I've been lucky with all through my life, I wouldn't say lucky, but because of the way I handle friendships, 
it won't get to that point where I feel like I would. You can say whatsoever you want to say about, you know, letting go of friendships or like people say, cutting off friends. Um, don't let it get to that point where you have to go to therapy. Because now with this woman that is now left alone with her child or children, I don't know what the circumstance is. She is going to take a long time for her to heal from that shit. It's going to take a really long time for her to heal from that, for her to heal from, you know, as adults. This is not secondary school. This is not even early 20s. If you're 25 and older, I feel like friendship should be a serious thing. It should be a serious business. I know there are people who are loose with friends or loose with the word friendship. They just don't really care. It's not, it doesn't mean anything to them. But at the same time, do not say that people who take it to heart, take certain things to heart, they are cruel or they are evil for behaving the way they behave. Because believe me, if this lady foresaw the way this girl was going to treat her and she cut her off or she let her go, this wouldn't be happening she wouldn't be in this you know mess that she is in but we're all humans we never know we will never know the heart of a man but at the same time there are flags there are, there are things that you as an adult as a woman should recognize patterns that you should recognize behaviors that you feel like mm -mm 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 -mm, this doesn't sit well with me and if we're going to continue being friends you have to let that shit go or I'll just walk away. Walking away doesn't make me perfect, doesn't make you bad. Walking away from friendships, from relationships, from situations that you know isn't healthy for you, isn't healthy for you, for your own peace, doesn't make you a bad person, doesn't make the other person a bad person. It just means that it cannot work. It doesn't mean that you guys are enemies. It doesn't, it just the word incompatible that's what you have to use your values are different the way you reason is different the way you say things is just different and we as adults especially women should normalize i don't like using the word normalize because yeah should normalize knowing that this is not good for me and walking away there are people who are enduring friendships just because of what they can get from that friendship. There are people who are enduring friendships just because they don't want to look bad to people. There are people who are enduring relationships just because they look like, oh, <laughs> we look good being husband and wife, we look good being, if it's not working, if it's affecting you up here, learn to pack your bags and go. It doesn't mean, and this is the issue I have even with divorce, whenever a man or a woman divorces, the comments is, you know, people raining hell on the women, on the women, on the women, or this, that, that, not knowing the root cause of the problem, not knowing what the woman or the man had to walk away from. At the same time, it's a mental hypocrisy mental hypocrisy still blaming the woman if she stayed there and died if she stayed there and contracted stds if she stayed there and something happened to her it is still women blaming women this is 2023 friendship should mean a lot to you and if it doesn't mean anything to you if it doesn't if it's just not that deep for you do not castigate people who take it serious because a lot of friendships have done more harm than good. The people you align with, the people you work with, the people who know your secrets, your business, determines a lot. We all know birds of the same feathers flock together. That still holds true to today. Yes, I do have my issues. Yes, I do have my flaws. Um, but as adults, if especially, especially in conversations, in whatsoever you've voiced out i'm not okay with this i'm not happy with this and you still see the person rubbing it in rubbing it in pushing for it relenting this is 2023 this is 2023 let us learn how to prioritize 
our peace even if it means walking alone when your mama born you you came out by yourself when you're going to enter grave they're not going to bury you with anybody even your husband even your wife they won't bury you with that person you came alone you're going to go alone so there is no problem no problem walking alone and yeah that's the message for today I learn to recognize patterns I know it's hard it's hard when you mean well it's hard when you're this type of you know open book you just want everybody to be happy you just you know you're just in that space where you like to give 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 there are friends or there are people I would say that it's just in the blood to just give even if they're not receiving anything in that friendship even if there's nothing for them to gain they're just happy being the person who is always there always giving always you know sharing and all that it's 2023 babies there are people who are out to use you i've been used i've been betrayed i've been gossiped about not that i don't gossip about people i do but when it comes from someone that you call your close party i mean you can gossip about whoever you want to gossip about with your your friend or whatsoever but then um i've been emotionally blackmailed i've been i don't know i've been through a lot not just as a child but as an adult and in this life it's all about survival of the fittest if you don't stomp on others someone is gonna stomp on you so what do you learn you learn to put your guard up even if people find it disturbing people say oh you must be mental you must be this you will lose a lot on this you will lose a lot if it's meant for me it's going nowhere if it's meant to stay, it's going nowhere. Don't say, oh, if I leave, if I leave, oh, this would happen, oh, this. Are you happy? That's the question. Are you happy? Are you happy where you are? Do you feel sabotaged? Do you feel... Just be honest with yourself, that's all I can say. Obviously, it would take a while to get to this level of on fuckery <laughs> that I'm in. You can call me damaged or call me whatsoever. But um, all my twenties, I've been living to learn and I've been learning to live. So what? What's 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 your decision? I know this. <laughs> this get ready with me. It's just it's not just getting ready. <laughs> Getting ready, but let's just see. Let me cut the front and see if it will look any different. Okay. <laughs> okay. Please, we're making effort, Abby. At this stage, I'm telling you that I don't know what I'm doing, but let's let's keep doing. <laughs> let's keep the doings doing. <laughs> oh my God. For the women, they try it. Well, I know if I get a hang of it, that it's gonna get easy. So, guys, this is what I could come up with. Do not dare judge me. Don't you dare. Don't you judge me. Don't you dare judge me. Just give me your score and be going. <laughs> I tried rolling, it did not roll. It's better to just leave it straight like this because fam. I just cannot, I just can't. Just let me know what you say. <laughs> this is a mess. Let me spray this one. I'm just spraying. I don't know what I'm spraying. Let me know what I'm this one. Oh, this one is like four. Okay. This one is like four. Let me. Let me put it, everything is, is entering the head. <laughs> oh no! You better say I go shoot one sit down with this because I cannot just sleep. Now I'm so energetic and so, you know, out for you people. What do you think? Let me see. Oh, 
What do you think? What do you think? Share with me. Share with me in the comment section below what your thoughts. <laughs> this is it. Let me brush you well. So, let's get ready with me. Don't reach 40 minutes, Abby. <laughs> you don't reach 40, yo. Just give it a lot of a raw, slick, slick brushing. They go I don't know. But yeah, um, I think maybe I'll just do one sit down video or just a TikTok video. I don't know. I don't know. This can be packed up. Hmm, this actually looks cute. This actually looks cute. Let me do it like this. So yeah, um, what do you think? I know the edges are not edging. The edges are not laid properly. I know the edges are not laid, you know, nicely or properly, but I mean, just rate, rate what you think. Let me know what you think about. I know the edges, mm -mm. they're not laid properly. They're, I don't, I don't know. I, I've been doing it well on my own hair, but with this wig, I just don't know. Let me know what you think about this. Get ready with me. Um, what can be improved? Score me down dear. <laughs> Give me your honest score and just share with me how do you do your own wigs? Like how do you get your wigs ready? What's your take on friendship? Are you the type to hold friendship? Do you take friendships seriously? Or you're just the type that I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. It's not that deep, you know. Just share with me in the comment section below. Um, yeah, hopefully you get to sit down from me with this hair. Maybe just, yeah. What sort of topics would you like me to, you know, just have a go at with my other wigs that are not yet ready for now? Let's be rocking this one. See how it looks from behind. It actually looks okay. I mean, a, a, a. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, share with me what you thought about this video. Give this video a massive thumbs up if you truly enjoyed it. Um, subscribe if you haven't, and hopefully, I am going to see you guys in my next one. For now, 